All right, I need to get on with this video. So this is a Darlington pair circuit. Let's take a look at the different sections. We have two cheeky wires coming out of our five volt rail here. Firstly, we have our absolute classic of an LED circuit with a 330 ohm resistor. After this, we have one of the two transistors which then goes back to ground. Now after our resistor, we have a split which goes to our second transistor's collector pin. The emitter pin then flows to the base of our first transistor over here. So our second cheeky boy is coming off our 5 volt rail here and this is where we have the part of our circuit where we touch the two leads and we can turn the light on. We've also added a 10 kilo ohm resistor to reduce the current even further. Now in my previous video we saw how transistors can be used as switches. However, transistors have many more modes than just off and on. They can act as values that can vary the amount of electricity that flows through them. So let's take a look at what's happening when I complete the circuit with my fingers. Well, for one, a very tiny current is flowing through them as we know our skin has a relatively high resistance and our voltage is fairly low at 4.7 volts. So this would mean a very, very tiny current is going to be passing through my finger into the wire. However, even that tiny amount is enough to open the valve of the transistor ever so slightly. What does this mean? Well, now we have another path the electricity can take down this wire and across a slightly opened resistor. The key fact is that the current that this transistor will allow is actually bigger than the current that opened it. The resistance of this path is less than this path. So where does it go now? Well, it flows into the base of another transistor. And if we could open this valve enough to allow this current through with the minuscule one through my fingers, imagine what this one can do. This current will then break down this transistor even more. The transistor's resistance varies by the current we send to the base, which means that the sections of the circuit will deliver more and more current. So this is what amplification actually is in this circuit. We're not just magically turning this very tiny current going through my fingers into a larger one, we are actually just changing a set of valves, as we can imagine what the, the transistors are, to allow more current to flow through another section of the circuit. However, we can't just keep adding transistors and amplifying the current more and more. We're pretty much limited to what the maximum current the original power supply can deliver. In this case, the power supply is the Arduino. So this is the Darlington pair circuit and I think it's a really good circuit to sort of show how amplification works. Uh, with any beginner electronic kits, you can actually uh, have a go at making the circuit yourself and try and light this LED uh, using various conductive sources. So you can use your finger um, or any other materials lying around and you can just see in person what amplification can do um, and how it can light up the LED uh, with such a tiny input current so this is going to be this video for today guys thanks for watching um, i hope it was informative and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one goodbye for now